And I love cooking. I love talking with people. It's what I love doing. So it's super easy to come to work every day. Hi, I'm Justin Prestige, owner of Custom Trailer Pros. And today I'm so excited to be here with Brian Morrison. Brian, tell us about your trailer, the name of it, first of all, which I love. All righty, it's Urban Street Taqueria. Yeah, we're in Platte City, Missouri up here, um, just north of Kansas City. And so Brian, I, what I like about your story as we were talking before is, this isn't your first go round. How did you get started as a food truck vendor? Um, actually, so I was an over the road truck driver and uh, doing that for years and years and years. And I always wanted to start my own food truck. So I started out with an enclosed trailer, built it myself, got it up and running. And uh, once I got that up opened, I never looked back to my old job. That's awesome. So what size, give us a, give us an idea, a picture, if you will, of what you were working in in your first trailer. All right. So it was six foot wide 12 foot long six and a half foot tall so and you were serving tacos out of yes that. for yeah. a year <laughs> <laughs> that's a small small kitchen to be working out of and so after that period you decide to upgrade what's the size of your current trailer um it is eight and a half by 16 by eight tall yeah okay so in those changes, what are some of the most significant benefits that you've gotten from going to that bigger trailer? Oh, the room, man, the, the ease of doing everything. It's so hard before we had to do the dishes and lay them out everywhere. So we had to do it after we were closed and a lot of stuff that we had to do in the morning time, make our salsas and stuff, you know, where now we have double the equipment in there and are able to do everything whenever we need it kind of yeah. thing. You know, we don't have to it saved us four hour, two hours in the morning, two hours at night, just by getting a bigger wow. trailer. You know? That's amazing. And we have other customers who have some similar stories as far as being able to leave their jobs and do this. How's that impacted your life? It's changed it definitely for the better. Um, there's no greater feeling than working for yourself. Yeah. You know, it's uh, being a truck driver, you kind of work for yourself, but it's completely different. You know, it's, you can call in anytime you want, but you right. find out what you work for yourself that you'll never call in. Right. You know, like right, right. you yeah. work a lot, a lot of hours and. But it's rewarding. Hours. Yeah, yeah. It, it's so nice. It's yeah. And who works on the trailer with you? Um, me and my girlfriend. And then we have uh, one employee that works with gotcha. us. That's awesome. And get, give us an idea of what are the typical hours that you're operating? Um, so we're here uh, Tuesday through Saturday, 11 to 7. Um, that usually is the same throughout the whole year, year round 50, 50, it's actually 50 weeks a year. Yeah. Um, all, that we're on that schedule right here. That's awesome. And what's been the biggest surprise in a hard way of going full time for yourself as a food truck operator? Uh, probably the hardest thing is how much work you actually put in. And the biggest thing for us when we started was the small trailer. So it was so much more time you know that that does take a lot when you're here all day long and then you have a lot carrying on and stuff so i'd say the uh, again the room was the hardest thing for us really um you know we got lucky when we started out we got uh some customers and then it just kind of like fire kind of yeah. the wildfire and so we got we were able to get busy right off the get-go and then just maintaining the quality and you always get the same thing every time you come here whether it was two years ago or today it's going to be the same exact way it's going to be packaged right. correctly you know and so we never had a, a real struggle with getting business we don't do a lot of advertising really we don't do any advertising um a post here and there you know and right well and it's amazing too you're talking about the consistency of what you do and how important that is but that's an amazing part that a lot of people miss sometimes is that it, it's it's not easy to be consistent every single time. Yeah. So how do you achieve that? I the high standards, man. Like yeah. it's yeah. We've had this is my uh, third employee, and uh, it ends up as soon as they like get in, and once they realize kind of what's going on, then yeah, people, everybody that comes here is happy, and so that's got to you know what I mean. It's because the meat's cut up until it's 
the correct size. You know, the right. if it's if something's dried out or we didn't sell a lot of it, it's thrown away and not. You know what I mean? You're not right. Right. Getting that. So. Yeah. Awesome. What are some of the most popular dishes that you guys serve? Um, definitely the street tacos, uh, steak, pork, street tacos, quesadillas, nachos. But now you're just making me hungry. <laughs> <laughs> um, what's been one of the, your biggest surprises in a positive way of going into business for yourself and doing what you're doing? Um, even though all the time, there's so much time involved into it, it's, you get so much more freedom. Like you're able to do so much more. It's a job, but it's not really a job, especially if it's like what you love doing. I love cooking. I love talking with people. It's what I love doing. So it's super easy to come to work every day. You know what I mean? And I really like now that afterwards i can just leave work like it's not right. falling around with me you know i don't have to worry about anything i gotta worry about if the weather's gonna be too bad for us to open which is right it's freezing temperatures you know but right other than that well and it's amazing you know all of our customers are startup food entrepreneurs and this is a hard industry and it's a hard business to be in but to do it and be successful and build something that's yours and your own, uh, that's something to be really proud of. So well done in doing that. It's an amazing story. And so if people want to follow you, how can they find you uh, on social media or your website? What's the best way for them? Um, yeah, urbanstreettalkeria.com uh, is going to be our website. And then they can find us on Facebook at Urban Street Talkeria. Um, and then that's pretty much about it. Well, that's awesome. Thank you so much for sharing your story with us today. I think it's really fun. You're doing a great job here. All right, I'm here with Jared Biggerstaff, my sales manager. When he heard that we were coming up to Brian's trailer today to try the food, he really wanted to come with because he's heard about how good the tacos are here. Oh, well, I had to be a part of this one. Yeah, and so Jared is a taco connoisseur, <laughs> if you will. And so we're gonna try these out. I've not had them before. Jerry's gonna try the steak street tacos. I've got the pork street tacos. And I'm gonna try a little bit of their hot sauce on it as well. And Justin, I might have to confess, this is my fifth taco. <laughs> they were not lying. Mm. These are so good. It's always enjoyable to mm. take a bite and mm. chew and eat while being filmed, isn't it? <laughs> That's always my favorite part. Well, it's still amazing. <laughs> that from the time we ordered these to the time they handed them to me, it was a couple minutes maybe. Mm -hmm. And they had other people mm. here that they were serving at the same time. Mm. It's so fresh and so delicious. Mm. I'm going to hurry up and end this mm. so that I can finish the rest of these tacos not on camera. So if you're anywhere north of Kansas City, check out mm. Brian's food truck, the Urban Street Takiera. It is so good, you won't be disappointed. Mm. Jerry, come on, get in here, bro. Whoa. What are we doing here? Is this all, okay, this is just all being... Okay.